Hello guys, what's going on? I'm bringing you a new video today and I'm playing Hearthstone. I play one of my favorite decks. I made it myself. I think I saw one guy on YouTube. He mm, played, I guess, a deck that is similar, but I completely made it by myself, uh, by myself sorry. And yeah, I did not look up for this kind of decks. I just thought Basically, the inspiration was like the old OTK warrior, where you had um, basically a combo deck where you played your molten giants, and uh, also you had brewmasters in your deck. So you played. Uh, there was a card I forgot. It was a card for the patron warrior, where basically all the minions have charge. If um, minions have charge if they have like I think max attack like free damage if they do only free damage uh, you uh, they get like charge and back then this card actually gave all your minions charge so um, the idea was that you get low on health so your molten giants you play this card basically then you play your Molten Giants, or you play one Molten Giant, and you get a Brewmaster, and you return uh, your Molten Giant like three times, and yeah, you just win the game because you, most of the time, you deal like, yeah, even more than 30 damage. It's a bit hard to play against Warriors, as you can see, because they can actually armor up, but it's, yeah, it's still working. Um, so yeah, and that was basically the inspiration, I thought about it and I said like, well we have Faceless Manipulators, we have um, the Molten Giants, and we have the spell which gives your minions 2 attack, uh, 2 plus attack and charge, so I thought let's go ahead and try and yeah, bu uh, build a deck that is similar to this really really old deck and I came up with this one so uh, unfortunately I am playing against a uh, pattern warrior and a lot of cards like whirlwind and also like the death spite is actually pretty good for him here I play a little I have a little misplay because uh, yeah I think he plays like patrons in some turns uh, but yeah so it was a really close game actually because he had like a yeah you can say it was an aggressive deck pattern pattern warrior but I managed to yeah keep my health up and basically survive till the end and it was pretty close because he actually armored up and he was like at 28 health uh, yeah not 28 health he had I think like um, 26 and then with armor up he got like uh, 28 but it was really really cool and yeah I enjoyed playing it I think I already explained the concept of the deck in my previous video uh, so yeah I just hope you enjoyed the video guys and I'm not going to comment a lot um, only thing that I'm doing is I'm basically um, trying to uh, I'm basically trying to remove all of his minions and yeah as you can see he played his patron now uh, I basically try to only remove all of his minions and also I try to draw a lot of cards with um, yeah Acolyte of Pain uh, Acolyte of Pain for example uh, so yeah because I really need my molten giants I need my faceless manipulators and I need this uh, spell and emperor uh, emperor is also pretty important so you can reduce the cost of your minions uh, so yeah that was pretty nice uh, that's basically I mean that's basically what I'm trying all the time and in the end if you have all the cards you need you just need one turn and you know guys that I would, I don't have an owl here because um, one problem could be 
Like, yeah, he has said thanks because with Acolyte of Pain, as you can see, I get the card I wanted. Uh, his patrons are not a big deal because I have my Brawl and I can easily clear his entire boat and basically fuck up his combo. <laughs> and yeah, as you can see, I'm going to play Brawl, I think, now and yeah, basically clear the entire board. Uh, so, uh, yeah, another spell that is. That are basically, and uh, now I'm getting all the cards I need, but I'm still searching for my uh, Emperor to reduce the cost of the minions. So, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. As I already said, one of my favorite decks. Go ahead and try this deck out. I guarantee you'll get you hell have uh, you'll have a lot of fun playing it. It's just yeah, pretty cool to actually finish the guy you go against or the girl you go against in one turn. And most of the time, what I notice is like the guys are like really confident, like yeah, he's going to lose. No way he can win. He can't win. And then like in one turn <laughs> I just deal like 30 damage and then what I notice is like they start looking at the cards. Um wait, I forgot what I wanted to say. Uh yeah. So uh, as I already said, what I noticed is like that the guys they just start looking at the cards. Like basically what the fuck? What are the cards? How is it even possible? Yeah, they're like, how is it even possible to kill me, like, in one turn, especially as a warrior? <laughs> so, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, the next video, I think I'm going to share a quick clip against uh, Control Priest, Priest Priest, um, he played the Elise version, version, and... Later on, I'm going to play uh, to upload some games where I play as a handlock. Because um, look at this, uh, look at that. He made a misplay here. I don't know. Actually, maybe he tried to uh, draw more cards because his Lothar was injured, uh, got injured. But I don't know. In my opinion, I think it's not really. Yeah. I, I, for me, it's a misplay. Uh, so yeah, uh, next video I'm going to uh, to upload is uh, I think a small quick clip just for fun because it's pretty nice. And then I'm going to upload some games where I play as a handlock, some nice Jaraxxus action. <laughs> uh, yeah, I enjoy playing handlock, but I am really looking forward to the new update, Whispers of the Old Gods. And especially for the standard format because I'm so tired. I'm so tired, guys. All the time I go against Secret Paladins. I go against Murloc Paladins. I go against Mag Mages, Freeze Mages, and Face Shamans. All the time. It's not even fun to play. If I play a slow decks, I'm basically fucked. And it just... That just annoys me, and I can't wait to actually, for example, play Cthulhu and play like control heavy decks because that's basically what the card game should be like, where you actually have to think a bit and look, yeah, predict the turns of your opponent, and basically just slow fun games where you need skill. And not oh, sorry for that, guys, and not just oh, sorry, guys. And not just playing face shamans where you basically need luck. And where you just go face all the time. Or like secret paladins where you play this... Uh, I forgot what's the name. It's basically all the secrets in your deck. And then uh, most of the time you... the Yeah, you can't deal. Uh, you can't do anything against it. And yeah, as well as like anything can happen paladin... You just play all your fucking Murlocs and then you draw the cards and then 10 mana damage and you just deal like way over 40 damage. And yeah, just that's annoying and I think it's pretty fucked up. So thanks for watching guys. Enjoy this last seconds of my video. Pretty dope shit in my opinion. 
Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Stay awesome. And be sure to play control decks and not face decks. See you in the next one. Stay awesome, guys. Peace. Watch that. Boom. Boom. And boom. See you, guys. Thanks for watching again. Bye. Peace out. <laughs> Bye.